There's only one British racing car company that always finished or won the 2000 races they entered, has a heritage going back to the 1890s, produced the most competitive and successful racing car of the 1950s, and was the only car company in the world officially sanctioned by Jaguar boss Sir William Lyons. And its name is Lister. And it's the only racing car company in the country that still uses the same tools, the same plans, and some of the original staff that made these cars. This, quite simply, is Britain's longest established racing car company. And in a sleepy corner of Cambridgeshire, the Lister brand is burning brightly. That original D-type beating Lister Nobly is now being remanufactured as an exact tool room replica, correct in every detail. This isn't a half-hearted replica or homage car, but a forensically perfect facsimile of the legendary Nobly, complete with a continuation Lister chassis number. Welcome to the rectory. The Nobly is spoken of in hushed and hallowed terms. How does that feel, Brian? It feels good. <laughs> What else can I say, except be proud of it, that they've considered it worthwhile putting the effort that they obviously have into the car, because that car that the boys put together is um, far better finished than the ones that we made. You couldn't get those standards in the time that we had available then, and different materials and indeed different techniques. What is the best thing about the Nobly that you remember? It, it had a purposeful kind of look. People appreciated and enthused about. Also, the uh, standard of workmanship and craftsmanship that went into it. Um, that isn't just me, you know, that's the team. And uh, they were very proud of the record that uh, uh, they'd built up. Stelling is an unemotional driver. And that translated into higher speeds? Uh, certainly in higher lap speeds. That publicity you got then, photographed everywhere, you were like movie stars. Yeah, he loved everything about what he was doing. So Stelling, how did it feel to be part of all that, that Lister mythology? Well, just, just I think the, the engineering was, was considerably advanced over, over the Jaguar. I mean, it was, a, it was a far better racing car than the Jaguars. Racing in those days we hadn't got the pressure it has now, and so that was quite different. And, and people, you know, had a lot of fun and enjoyment, and, and we went, you know, from one race to another, hopefully doing as well as we could. I think, frankly, that uh, you're always fairly proud if you're, if you're dealing with a winner. And it was a car that would, you know, would beat the other ones. You know, I mean, Brown, Lister, and the whole team were very keen and excited about how the car went. We, you know, we'd go out and develop the car, make it as good as it could be. And when you've done that, there's there no other car of, of a similar type that could, that could touch it. Is it too strong a statement to say that it was the Nobly was one of the best racing cars of its era? Yes, I would say so. Certainly, yeah, very definitely. For people who are going to buy continuation list of Nobles, what would you say? Go to the original craftsmen who uh, created our cars, and they're still there. But the Lister story didn't end in the 1950s. In 1986, Lawrence Pierce developed the 200 mile an hour, 115,000 pound Lister Le Mans. Then, in 1993, came the Lister Storm, which, for 12 unchallenged years, held the title of the fastest four-seater car in the entire world. But the great news for enthusiasts all over the world is the Lister brand is still in rude health. In 2013, Andrew and Lawrence Whitaker invested heavily to make sure this national treasure goes on and on and on.